be learned at scale with HBase. Obviously, for folks out there, you guys are a great example of, to me, the future application that enterprises are struggling with. I mean, Facebook, you guys had a clean sheet of paper, built a great platform. You, your product model has been about introducing product and iter iterating fast. No real clunky, clunky R&D team slow things down. Yeah. It's really applied research in real time. So you, it is. You launch some stuff, smaller teams, really good code of ethic over there with them among the engineers, which is cool. What have you learned and what, what could you share for the folks out there who are moving to cloud, building their apps, trying to be more appified in the sense of being like a Facebook, in the sense of being an IT ops, DevOps environment. What are the biggest challenges? Well, one thing I, I, I'd say that I love about Facebook is the way that our ops and DevOps work, is we have what we call app ops people that are on our engineering teams. So rather than kind of in a lot of organizations, there's a distinct wall. There's engineering and there's operations, and there's a lot of finger pointing, and there's another main problem is the fact that Hadoop and HBase and these other technologies, they're so early that there's no such thing as ops. I mean, it's engineering. <laughs> it's engineering ops, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's one thing that I've really, really liked is we have ops guys that have an engineering bent, and then all of our engineers are very kind of aware of ops. And so it's created a really good environment and allowed us to iterate quickly there. Um, that's the culture, basically. That's, that's, that's culture. the culture. So if, you're, if you have that siloed you know, ops skills, you're screwed. <laughs> basically is what you're saying. Well, I'm saying that. He didn't no, say it's, that. It's, I said that. It's an uphill battle, and, yeah. and it depends on the ops guys. And I, there's nothing like sitting with people. You know, I mean, in the end of the day, people are people. And sitting with people, you become tolerant, and you understand what their position is.